learning when it comes to talent scouting. One is the video, right? The other one is the book, okay? And then fill your story, right? Or another good story about someone that you work with, i.e. Yep. Alan. You can tell Alan's story, story. or the uh, checks. Huh? The checks, the paychecks. Ah, the paychecks. That's what we do. Okay, is everybody keeping their paychecks in their demo book? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's another uh, tool we have for talent scouting? The book. The book the itself. Catalog. The catalog that shows the weekly paycheck. The buzz. Okay. The buzz magazine. Does everybody have a buzz magazine on their demo? If you don't, have one. What a powerful tool. And it's really that insert, okay, uh, the middle part that's the most valuable because it has all the top people, right? It has all the top paychecks. It has all of the regional contests that are happening, okay? Um, really, really powerful tool. We've got another tool. These are all really good. What's another tool that we should be using on our demos? Our call outs. Okay. Call out. Very important, right? Because just like it's your job in the home to make them want a rainbow, but it's our job to help them find a way to get one, it's your job in a lot of ways to get them enticed about coming to a main event, but it's our job, Jake, to help you get that $20 deposit, help you set up, Dave, a pickup, okay? Because a talent scout picked up, shows, shows up. up, right? Okay, let's repeat that one more time. A talent scout picked up, Shows, shows up. up. Very important, right? So uh, a call out, we can help you set up that, that uh, uh, pickup. We can help you get that $20 deposit, right? So we can help you tie down uh, them coming in, all right? There's another tool that we have to, um, to, to get to them know that everything that they're seeing is earned for free. Ah, right? Yeah. Okay. Free rainbow. And we're going to talk about that a lot today. And who's been watching the videos we put together? I have. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. You've seen a few? I've seen a few. I okay. Have a lot to go with. One thing I want you to pay attention to when you watch those videos, at the very beginning of the demo, and Phil's my ride along, okay, um, what do I do at the very beginning of the demo? Hey, buddy, come on in. I'm here. <laughs> Come on in. There's a seat right here or right here. Anywhere you like. Anywhere. Okay. What do I talk about at the very beginning of the <coughs> demo where I'm sitting there and uh, Cindy's the customer and Phil's my ride along? The people themselves. If they've heard of a rainbow before. Okay. Uh, Why I'm here. Why Phil is with me on the demo. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to start my demo on You guys, this is so very important. Are we in that home? We're in a home. Okay, let's just move over here because this is a little bit of a separate topic, but we're in a home for three reasons. We have three demos in a house. Okay, what are the three demos in a home? Talent, Talent scout. scout. Talent scout demo. Okay. Referral. Referral demo. And the rainbow demo. We want to put on, when we're in a house, we want to put on a three-dimensional demo. So does that mean that referrals are at the end and talent scouting is at the end and at the beginning we're trying to sell a rainbow? No. No. Or maybe we're kind of doing all three of those demos simultaneously throughout the whole process. Does that make sense? So when I get there and when you get there to demo, when we're starting on our presentation, do we want to let them know from the very beginning that they can get a rainbow for free? Yes. Yes. Do we want to maybe tell them a little bit about how that works? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I want to let them know, especially if I've got a ride along, and here's our vision. Okay. And today's about vision, clarity, all that kind of stuff. But uh, here's our vision. Almost every single demo that we do here in the Rocky Mountain Division is a ride-along demo. Wouldn't you like it if every demo you were doing, you had your customer that bought a rainbow coming with you on that demo? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
we can get there. And ultimately, here's what we need to do is the Rocky Mountain Vision. We need to be better at this talent scouting and referral part because the sale part will come. And we're going to do some of the rainbow demo and stuff today. But we're going to talk a lot about talent scouting and referrals and opportunity and all that kind of stuff. Okay, And we're going to uh, get some of you guys up here uh, doing parts of, of these things. Okay, Aubrey, all right, <laughs> she's shaking her head. But we want to do a three-dimensional demo. What's the most important thing you think we get out of a house, Alan? More places to go with a talent scout. Talent scout would give you the most money, okay? But let me ask you a question. Can you get a talent scout without a demo? No. So the most important thing we get out of a house is a referral. Referrals and and more demos. Okay? That has got to be number one. If we don't know how to replace our demos with demos, nothing else works. See, if if all we did was recruit people and learn how to sell rainbows, but we never learned how to replace our demos with demos, well, we'd be uh, 100,000 pounds of dynamite with no fuse. Right? We'd have a lot of talent, a lot of people with nowhere to go, right? So really the most important thing is to learn how to replace our demo with the demo. See, if we can get more demos than we can run, Aubrey, you've got a lot of wants this week. Okay, thank you for posting up your wants and everybody here that posted up their wants on group me so we all know what everybody wants, but uh, you've got a lot of wants this week. Wouldn't it be nice if you had so many green lights and referrals coming in that you can fulfill all your wants, but you could also be giving away another maybe three or four demos next week to Alan or John or maybe Phil or myself because you had too many places to go. I love that. <laughs> Let's get there, guys. Okay, Today's going to be about that. How can we get to the point to where you've got more than what you need when it comes to demos? See, when you've got more than what you need, when it comes to demos, which ones are you going to run? The best. the best ones, right? And then you're going to give some of those other ones away, and guess what's going to happen? Some of those are going to sell too. And we have a program here, which is a lead share program. You guys know that, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So if I have a lead, and Phil runs my lead, and it sells, what am I going to give Phil? 100 bucks. 50 bucks. Okay. If I also set the appointment, okay, then it's an additional 50 that I'm going to give to Phil. Does everybody know that? Right. Most of the time you're going to set your own appointment or if your, if your customer booked the appointment, that counts as your set, okay? What else counts as your set? An instant green light, okay? So if you call in an instant green light and Linda books that instant green light for you, that counts as your appointment and your lead. So if somebody else runs that because you've got more than what you need, that's worth a hundred bucks, that person that ran it and sold it is going to give up a hundred to you. Does that make sense? Okay. So we want to get to the point to where we all have more than what we need in demos. That is so valuable, so very important. And then number two, the most money you're ever going to make in Rainbow is by recruiting. And I think everybody here understands the value of talent scouting. Okay. How much, and obviously we're going to try and sell a Rainbow. How much is a sale worth to you? Depends on what level, but 250 to start with. 250 bucks to start with. How much is an average talent scout that comes in goes through training and gets started going to be worth to you, do you know? Thousands? I'm trying to recall, it's like 10, 10 or 10,000. 10 grand? So let me ask you a question, and this was when Michael Waldy was here, right? And he was talking about, that was the vice president of our company uh, that was here in our <laughs> office, um, he was talking about lottery tickets, okay? A sale, a demo to go in and try and sell a rainbow bill is what? A scratch. A scratch ticket. Okay? When we go to do a demo to try and sell a rainbow, it's a scratch ticket. 
But if we go to do a demo to try and get a recruit, this is a lottery. This is a mega millions. See, the best person in a rainbow hasn't been hired yet. Wouldn't it be cool, John, if you went out and you recruited the next Gordon? Dave, what if you recruited the next Mike Rewaldi? See, Mike Rewaldi started, somebody recruited Mike. The person that recruited Mike in, into, well, it was direct sales, because you know you guys, you guys know he came from the dark side, right? Do you know that? <laughs> you know he came from Kirby? Kirby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But the person that recruited Mike, do you think they made a lot of money on Mike? Hmm. As he was going up in the business? More than 10000 more than 10,000, probably, okay? <laughs> Maybe 20, but here's what's interesting. We're going to talk about this today. If you don't stay ahead of your people, you don't get the opportunity of those people, okay? Once you get moving up, and we're going to talk about that, you've got to continue to grow in rainbow because if someone that you recruit surpasses you in the business, it's not going to be worth it for you to have them as a recruit, okay? And that's simply with more people. You gotta to continue to grow with more people, okay? You can't just recruit a superstar, Jake, and sit back on your hands and not do anything and let them make all the money, all right? That's not how it works. But as long as you're bringing more people in and staying ahead of them as far as your, your, the size of your team and your team sales, then you're gonna to continue to get the benefit of that person that's also being a superstar, okay? So we wanna do a three-dimensional demo. Do you think there's ever been a demo that's been done, and maybe, maybe even for yourself personally, that you've gone in and you forgot to share the opportunity? You think that happens? We go do demos and we forget to talk about talent scouting. We forget mm -hmm. to do all these things over here. We forget to tell them about our free rainbow program and sell that throughout the demo. Does that happen? Yep. Do you think that there's been demos that have been done where we didn't try and sell a rainbow? Yeah. You think? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. Uh, no. Maybe. But they would be few, few, and few and far between. Okay. Now, maybe there's some people that uh, are so focused on talent scouting that they're not thinking about selling. But here's what I know. You'll never lose a sale trying to recruit people. In fact, it's oftentimes the opposite. And the more we go in there trying to focus on referrals and recruiting the more likely it is, Linda, we're going to sell a rainbow. But sometimes if we go in there and we're sales focused, is there a chance we're going to miss the talent scout and miss the referrals? Yes, and possibly. And possibly even the sale, if people see us being too focused on trying to push a product on them, yeah. right? Yeah. If I try and push a product on you, what's your natural response? Okay. okay. <laughs> so what we're going to talk about today too, and a lot of what we're going to do is on creating a problem and uh, Terry and I talked about that. We have an awesome opportunity, you guys, to, uh, to go on a demo down in Castle Rock, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it's really good to ride along on a demo with uh, me or Gordon or Alan or Phil or Dave when we don't sell it. Because sometimes I think you guys think we, get, we deserve magic or something, okay? <laughs> so sometimes it's good to go on a demo and go, oh, okay, well, they don't sell them either, right? We don't get everyone. But one of the things that we talked about uh, when we were driving and that, that what I call windshield time is so valuable and I've ran a lot of demos with Alan over the years uh, or over the last year and a half since Alan's been with us. Um, that windshield time is so valuable. Uh, but uh, anyways, one of the things we talk about is the, one of the most important things we do in a house is to create a problem. <coughs> See, if they've got a problem, what's the obvious solution? Rainbow. The rainbow. See, we don't have to try and sell them a rainbow but if they don't have a problem, Jake, do they need a solution? No. No. So if they don't think they've got an indoor air pollution problem, do they need an air cleaning system? No. No. If they don't think that their vacuum's not cleaning, if they think it's working well enough, do they need a solution to that? No. No. So really creating a problem is more important than trying to push a product. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So these are some things that we have, some tools that we have. But as you watch those videos, and I really highly recommend that you spend some time watching these videos, as you watch them, I want you to ask yourself a question. How many times does Shannon say, you'd be good at this, and did you know you can get what I'm showing you today for free? 
And I talk about it throughout the deal. Okay? You only need to 